Okay, now we are live. So, uh... Go ahead and tell us who you are, Sam. What's up, everybody? Great to be here. My name's Sam. This other guy's best friend. Hello. Hey, you rock. Yep, that is us. We are uh, Christian and Sam with uh, the Deadly Robot dot com. Uh, as you see, I'm just shuffling around my desktop right now. Uh, we're actually waiting on a, another friend to get this live stream thing started, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Um, while we're at it, I'll guess I'll go ahead and break the ice and talk about a few things. <clears throat> First off, if you're here. It means my infinite and brilliant marketing strategy is working, uh, which is absolutely nothing at all. So um, thank you for joining the live stream. Uh, this is for our website. We will soon be posting more videos and more videos as time goes on, whatever, whatever. If you are tuned in right now and you are hearing everything perfectly clear and you, you know, there's no problems on your end, go ahead and share it with everybody. I'd like to go ahead and try to meet our soft cap of about 50 people until this show gets verified. Um, alright, so, oh, I'm hearing a little echo, Sam. Alright, so, cool, there we are. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start our game. Tonight it will be Banjo-Kazooie, and uh, we're going to try to have a discussion about, you know, old old games we grew up with and things that we've done. So while I'm getting this up, Sam, if you want to go ahead and maybe talk about a few things, you can. Um, alright guys, I'm a huge Banjo-Kazooie fan. I remember being like, what, 9, 10 years old, my mom buying me an, X, uh, an N64. I thought it was the coolest shit ever. I also remember playing Banjo-Tooie, the second game in the series, for, like, most of my childhood. I remember playing this game way too much, coming home from school and popping it right in and then sitting down till dinner with this game. So, I don't know. I mean, I like the series. It's a lot of fun. I'm sure you guys remember it when you were kids. Cool, cool. So, uh, yeah, we're probably... Uh, Sam, I don't think he's going to be able to see exactly what I'm playing without the delay. So, I'll basically just commentate, and he'll try to, you know, come in on whatever we're talking about at the moment. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and configure my controller, so if you guys want to watch that, you can. I probably should have done this way, way before uh, we even decided to do any of this, so give me a second. Technical uh, difficulties, everybody. <laughs> I brought up the live stream myself so I can watch. There might be a little bit of delay, though. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, I'm sure you see my controller and everything being uh, worked on right now. I'm trying to... This thing isn't recognizing my my controller, so give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and exit it, start it up again. Whew, there it is. Cool. So, yeah, I know you crashed. Don't check online. Yes. So, vibration testing, enable, and yay, it's working correctly as it should. So I'm going to go ahead and configure my controller plug-in. Digital up, digital down, left, right, joystick up, down, left, right. Oh, hey, I think the control is already configured for this thing already. Cool. So let's go ahead. Oh, uh, where is this thing? And here we are. Wow, that thing is tiny. Let me let me bump that up a little bit. Apply. There we go. <laughs> All right, I remember. Are you, are you seeing it fine? Game. I hope everybody's seeing it fine because this is about as good as it's probably gonna get. I remember hitting the start button, the A button, whenever this would come on, because there was like a one second where you could hit it and it would skip this entire intro. 
Yeah, um, I don't think it lets you the first time playing, so I'm just kind of stuck doing it now. Well, no, not actually the intro, but why not, dude? Let's go ahead and watch the intro. Uh -huh. Oh god, dude, this is bringing me back in time. I'm excited. I can't wait to see Bumbo. There he is. That saxophone playing bastard. And the xylophone, this dude is multi-talented. And now he has his violin. Violin. went down to Georgia and they was looking for a soul steel. <laughs> they found some fuckhead named Mumbo. <sighs> Dude, do you remember Diddy Kong Racing and playing his banjo simply because, you know, he was in that game? Yeah, man, that was awesome. I always remember going for the airplane first, even though... Actually yeah, dude, I love the airplanes and the hovercrafts. Like, why would you play Diddy Kong Racing and race in regular cars? Oh no! Why is it the responding? Hold on, here we go. I'm gonna configure this one more time again for everybody. Start. Z trigger. Left trigger. Right trigger. Wait, Z trigger is that. There we go. C button's up. No, yeah, down, left, right, B, A. Um. We are golden. We are golden. Cool, everything is working now. Dude, do you remember do you remember the loading screen or the select your game screen? Yeah, you go around the house and he's doing chores. Yeah, dude. I think I think dude, even though it is the third game, I always pick this one. Cause why would you why would you pick any other one other than who's playing Game Boy? <laughs> Grunty's lair. A place of sadness, despair. What the hell is a witch's head doing on the most peaceful place in this entire game? I've never understood. Um, well, the real estate property is really high around there. She wanted to get in. Yeah, she wanted to... This is all actually... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and discuss the plot of Banjo-Kazooie to you guys. Okay, so... Grunty here is wanting to uh, start her oil business in the land that Banjo and Kazooie live in, in their little house. And uh, so she comes in here and she's basically just like, I want to get rich quick and everybody on this land is going to have to leave, right? Like you following me, Sam? Yeah, following me. Alright, cool. So, she comes in here and she realizes that not only can she steal all of the land here and turn it into a huge profit for her oil sales, but she also wants Banjo's sister's charming good looks so she can win the presidency of the United States of America. Um, because you would not ever want to elect somebody who looks like this. I mean... No, of course not. I mean... It's like when we almost liked to charm the game. <laughs> so, basically, here she is. The little, uh, Tootie. I think her name is in this game. Yeah, Tootie. And, uh, she's gonna come over here and tell Banjo that the evil oil tycoon is trying to infiltrate their land. Do you remember in the second game when this guy gets capped and then they have his military brother come in? Yes! The uh, hardcore metal holes instead of little dirt ones. Yeah, dude, that was awesome. Dude, Bottles dies though, that's like the saddest thing about the second game. Yeah, it, like within the first couple of seconds of the first cutscene, he gets taken out. Wake up! I wanna go on an adventure! Fuck you, bird!
I'll steal her ugly looks and become the president of these United States. So, did you see that little butt pit in the background there for a second? Uh, which one? You know when she was flying over the valley, you see that little butt pit in the corner? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was New Mexico. <laughs> Dude, nobody likes New Mexico. Not even New Mexico likes New Mexico. She's taxed as a real representation. Oh no, she got her! Banjo, wake the hell up! This isn't no time for sleeping. And thus, Banjo Kazooie starts. Oh, it might just be me, but when she says there's trouble outside, my first reaction would be to lock the door and stay inside. Yeah, why in the hell would you go? <laughs> All right, come on, let's just go outside where the danger is. I'm Banjo, a fucking talking bear. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. I'm a goddamn bird. That's all this game should just be, is I'm a goddamn bear, I'm a goddamn mole, and I'm a goddamn bird. I'm pretty sure this isn't Banjo and Kazooie's bad fur day. Dude, I would absolutely play the hell out of that game. <laughs> so are you okay on the stream? Like, how's it going on your end? Um, there's like a couple seconds lag, but it's okay. Cool, cool. At least you can see where I am and what I'm doing. Yeah. This guy's trying to teach me how to play video games. <laughs> Come on. Oh! I, I forgot whenever you speed through conversations, they kind of have a high-pitched voice. I always thought that was fun. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah! Yeah, I haven't done that in a while. Grab the honeycomb. Damn. Mm, I'm sticky, tasty honey, honey energy. No, don't act like this. Okay, here we go. Was it to do the? There it is. Do you ever, do you ever remember thinking that the control scheme for Banjo Kazooie was almost, was almost right on dot with Mario 64? Yeah, they are pretty similar when I think about it. But I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's oh hell no! Scheme. Especially because Mario started the whole. Uh, console platforming thing, like hands down, like you can't really say anything else did. Unless you're open for debate or something. I mean, we did take debate for too many years of our lives. Um, my first value in Criterion is that Mario 64 was not the first in 64 game. My second in the proof, and we're gonna use my uh, Atari card, that Contra came out first. Yeah, well, okay, here's my value in Criterion. Um, one is fuck you. Two is, um... No, I'm just kidding. I don't have anything to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but yeah. I forgot completely how N64 games feel. You have a wider turn. It's a lot wider and a lot less tight. But I mean, I don't have any problems. It's not like I'm complaining about the quality of the game or anything. I would have to call Harrison if you did. I guess my only problem with the N64 was that the joystick on the controller would break pretty easily. Oh yeah, dude. The joystick on that thing sucked. And then you played it for a while and cut your hand. 
on it. Hey, is anybody, uh, does it show you how many people are watching, or what? Uh, we have six viewers right now. Six viewers, that is amazing. These, these six viewers watching need to shove this stream down everybody's throats as soon as they can. <clears throat> Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Flickr, uh, Yahoo Mail, GeoCities, uh, Zanga, do whatever you have to. Oh, dude, I forgot about her, her sidekick. You, you, he will not bear. There are many dangers in my lair. Remember in the second one, you fight three witches instead of just her. Yeah, um... Yeah, I remember that. She had sisters in the other game or something, right? Yeah. They uh, brought her back to life. She was more powerful than ever. There he is. Begin the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Oh my god. Uh, and then you go to the right here, and here's the first area of the game. I don't think that... Huh. Okay. Wait. I need puzzle pieces. Oh man. You must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Saw one near the lair entrance. Come back when you found it. Okay, so let's go to the entrance of the lair. I remember in the second game you did not use jigsaw pieces to go to new levels. You used them to like get new powers and things. Uh, is that right? I don't remember. Yeah, in the second one, that's what they're for. And I forgot the reasoning for going to all the different places in the second one instead of heading straight to her lair, but there was some kind of reasoning where you weren't allowed to go. Um, I think it's because you had to get different powers to, uh, to be able to go up there or something. You gotta, uh, make Kazooie walk. Like, you know where you ride on her back? That's how you get up that really steep place. Yeah, so I got the puzzle, so I'm just gonna go back. Um, god, I don't remember anything. <laughs> I feel so bad. But that's why we're gonna be streaming this for a couple of, uh, couple of streams. Like yeah, by the way, I should I should mention, this is going to be a weekly thing, so if you guys have, like, suggestions on things to play or things for us to actually do besides play games, uh, ask us. Uh, send us anything. We'll, we'll do anything for money, you know. Me and Sam will whore ourselves out for some money. Yeah, right now I'm using my curly hair to post the junior And actually, we're not making any money off of this, I'm just fucking around. It'd be awesome if you guys donated so we could buy new equipment be able to do newer and cooler things, though. Sam, Sam, keep the coin, keep the coin cup away from our fans' faces. How dare you ask for things? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, I didn't- he didn't mean to point out how substantially broke we are. That's it, we're getting another memo about what to say while we're live. <laughs> you can say almost anything. Um, what I prefer not being said is like, you know, racial slurs. Uh, racial slurs. Um, racial slurs. I don't know what else we couldn't say on here. I mean, this is my damn thing. I can do what I want, essentially. Hey, go get that chicha. Yeah, I'm trying to center the camera remember how to, because... Okay, here we go. I remember in the second game they had houses. They did. You, um, had to rescue entire villages. Or you had to rescue the entire village. Oh, and there's the, there's the, do you remember what these silver skulls do? Um, 
Oh, you get to jump up, though. So no. Oh, jump up. I forgot no, this I'm game tells ball. you what to do with everything. I remember in the second one, you gotta play as Bumbo, and there was a Native American chick. Yes, yes, I remember that. Dude, no, no! I did not mean. It's the indestructible. Yeah, you're just supposed to avoid him, I think. I don't think you're supposed to do that. I remember this, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's supposed to throw the oranges on here, but I'm supposed to stand still. And just... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah! And if I remember correctly, uh, the big difference between this and uh, ten of us on each world will help you progress through the witch's lair. Okay, cool. Oh! Dude, if I remember correctly, this game didn't really tell you how to get the pieces. You just kinda... Had to figure it out. Yeah. And that was that was always cool because it was always a challenge. Like you never really knew exactly what to do. Yeah, I can remember getting frustrated at some levels with it, just being like, ah. So Chimpy wants to do things. I didn't read what he said. He I... said he's hungry. And he gotta get some food. Okay, yeah. Probably should have read that. Maybe there's a coconut or something around here that I can grab. He said he wanted the orange from the tree the gorilla was on. Oh, okay. Hey, that's... that's Conga's orange. Give that back. Oh man, I dude, I really need some health. This is no good. Ugh. Um, according to our friends and viewers, you missed a Jinjo in the water. Did I? <laughs> and also some restart notes. I don't know what the restart notes are, but they might be important. All right, cool. I, th I think the music notes are just like the typical. Oh, the music changed dramatically. I think the uh, the music notes are just your typical like coin thing, and if you get like a hundred of them in each map, you get like you know the jigsaw piece. I like to think that's what it is. So how many people we got now? We're still at six, but uh, the fact that we're keeping them is pretty nice. Yeah, even though they probably are people we know by name and last name and address. <laughs> oh man. Hey, 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 we gotta send the one sprite girl. Hello, hello everybody. And now you're dead. Yeah, I, I died real bad. See, we love you guys so much that we kill Banjo for you. See, we're really nice guys, dude. This is gonna take off. We're gonna become so great. Boy, howdy. We're gonna be opening for Kanye and Jay-Z. Listen, I'm gonna let you talk. The Rare had one of the best games ever. <laughs> dude, okay, so if I die, do I have to get the jigsaw pieces again? Jigsaw pieces, you like get the important ones, oh. but you lose your music notes and the birds. You lose, yeah, the Jinjos. Okay, cause yeah, I still have the, uh, I still have my jigsaw pieces. I was about to say, if that happens, that really sucks, and I don't remember it sucking. Oh, there's the Jinjo that everybody was talking about. more of those and I can build my pyramids. 
Um, hey, you should, uh, you should, because I can't, you should see where Jacob is, because he was supposed to be in here, but he's not. He's, he's still not around, I don't know where he is, he's not on Skype, which is awesome. Well, he's missing out, he's never going to be in one of our shows ever again. <laughs> You just passed your best note score for this world. Oh, you mean like my best score of like two? What? That should have hit him. According to the news on IGN, if you do the jump tap with the rarity you note know, or Kazooie packs up, you can stun the bull, but he cannot be killed. Oh, so if you do the jump and. yeah. Is there like, is there a piece you have to get from the bull, or like... I don't know, it doesn't say that. Cause like, otherwise, that bull is just there getting pissed off for no reason. Oh, and hey, there's another jigsaw piece, what do you know? Uh, how many jigsaw pieces are there total in this game? Is it 120? Because this is a big fat Mario ripoff. <laughs> Let me just hop on the Google machine here and figure it out. Dude, I just like like a boss that fucking ramp. You'll see here in a second. There is a hundred total jiggies in the entire world. So ten per level, ten levels. Cool, cool. Huh? 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 That sounds useful. How does she do the trot? Press Z and then hold the left C button and then hold Z. Okay, yeah, I remember this. I just remember that in Banjo Tooie, I think they gave you this by the get go, and I forgot that you had to unlock it. Even though I already did this without her help. It's also a much faster way to get around. And I'm sorry about the, uh, the audio lag sometimes, guys. It's just emulation. Um, because me and Sam are filthy, filthy pirates. I'm just kidding. We don't steal anything. We're nice guys. We paid for this. I still have my copies of Banjo Kazooie and Tui if the government's interested in knowing where we got this. <laughs> Dude, okay, so um, later we need to talk about a special Christmas uh, stream that we that we need to do. And honestly, you know what I was thinking? Shoot. I was thinking uh, Clay Fighters. 63 and a third? Yes. That game's amazing. Um, simply because the only reason I thought it would be a good Christmas game to play is because you have a snowman in that game that you can play as. And Earthworm Jim. Yes, and Earthworm Jim. I mean, you were... Uh, I'll probably let you take the helm on that one because you had it and we played it at your house a lot. Um, you gotta shoot the eggs into the mouth. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think you have to, uh, how do you, how does one? Um, crouch and then up C if I remember right. Yeah, I'm trying that. Hmm. Maybe my controllers, my buttons aren't mapped correctly. I know if you pound those huts, they give you stuff. Like, you know, do the drill. Yeah, you have to learn that too, because whenever I do that- Oh wait! There we are! Alright, alright. Sam, if I didn't have you here, I'd be a useless wreck. I would not know what to be doing right now. That's why you hired me. Yeah, that's why I pay you absolutely no money. You know, it's cool. As long as I have a job. Whoa, you mother No! Get the hell out of here. Yay! Alright, I just got the uh just got the yellow looking one. Got another 
another jigsaw piece. That's five in under like how many minutes has this been going? Thirty. Five and this little speed. That's hard. You know, screw it, we're not keeping time. Alright, um There's yet another jigsaw piece. Dude, I'm gonna clear this place out before I leave, because I mean this is way too easy. Well, I mean Yeah, this is easy because it's a childish Nintendo game. Um Nintendo has never made a good game because they're all uh, geared towards children. I mean what kind of uh what kind of man would be sitting here playing Banjo kazooie? What a waste of time. You know what? You should uh you should start live streaming Call of Duty. That is uh that's a that's a game worth streaming. I take it you have a bro over. Who, me? Oh yeah, that was my, uh, bro friend Tommy. Um, he likes to play Call of Duty a lot. Say hi, Tommy. Yo, what the fuck is this? Some game with a bear and a, bear and a bird. You know what? I, I could probably write better game stories. Uh, tripping high on LSD and, uh, sipping my four locos. I could probably write a better screenplay than Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, well thanks, Tommy. Um, looks like you're gonna have to leave because I'm getting really tired of you being here. Oh man, why you gotta do me like that? I was gonna come over here and we're gonna play some Modern Warfare 3. Uh, we're gonna play some Modern Warfare 2. We're gonna play some, uh, Modern Warfare, uh, Call of Duty 4. And, uh, you know what? All the other Call of Duty games are kinda gay. Um, cause it's not modern, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, well, uh, Tommy, uh, thanks for coming by. Uh, you're never going to make an appearance again, because this is probably the worst thing I've ever done. Uh, I think Tommy's a pretty cool bro. Nah, dude, he already left. He had to go, he had to go buy some of the razors to shave his back. Yeah. <laughs> he had to go mainline creatine into his ass. Oh, I remember. Okay, but I gotta figure out how to, um. I gotta figure out how to shoot these eggs first. That's the most important thing at this point. And he didn't tell me anything. All he told me was to do the Z jump. S or no, slam hard with the Beak Buster. Alright, cool, thanks for that. Am I not gonna be able to learn the egg thing until later? I'm thinking. Like, cause there's gotta be some replay value in these areas. You can't just come in here and clean everything out at the get-go. It says on here, hold Z and press up C to shoot an egg. Hold Z and down to poop the eggs. Bottles will give you 50 of practice with and there are many eggs nearby. So apparently you gotta go find this mound and talk to him. Yeah, he's probably over by the egg. But while I'm here... And I did just kind of skip the entire little beginning section in the hub world. Um, so, Bitch Tits, one of our fans, says, Buy Conga, go to the ape, you learn how to shoot them by Conga the ape. Okay, cool. Thank you, uh, Bitch Tits. That was a very good, um, observation, and we will send you a check in the mail. Uh, I don't know if it, I don't know. I didn't mean to refer to you by bitch tits. That hurt your feelings. I won't ever call you that again. No, it's cool. It's his screen name. Oh, that is okay. That's probably. Uh, I don't know who that is. He said it better be four hundred dollars in Skyrim. That makes. Four hundred dollars in Skyrim. Who? Who do I know who needs four hundred dollars in Skyrim more than they need shoes? Um, well, I didn't want to tell you, but I'm secretly bitch tits. Oh! Damn, dude! Well, you knew the entire time. Why? Why wouldn't you just tell me where to find out how to shoot eggs? Because I was asking. I like. I like watching you explore. It's half the fun of the game. Oh. Okay. Because, you know, that was the downfall of shooters, was you don't explore anymore, you just reach in all your health, and you're good to go. Yeah, man, who likes doing that anymore? Oh, wait, I gotta... 
Chip be hungry. You have to come to me. Dude, he's my middleman to get to the eggs. I don't want to have to do this. I'm doing the dangerous work for you, monkey bastard. By the way, um, I'm gonna go ahead and ask, can everybody hear Sam okay when he talks? Because I've been, I've been kind of worried about that. I can hear him fine on mine, but, you know, it all depends. Bitch Tit says Sam's voice is hot. Well, of course your voice is hot. That's why I got you in here. You've got the golden voice. Why don't you come over and we'll uh, find those jiggies together? Mm, girl, I'll teach you how to shoot eggs. I just want to make love to your whole lodge. Dude, we should have a musical. We should totally. Dude, when you come for winter, we're gonna write a musical and we're gonna film it over two days. Can it be about us venturing to find the Golden Slurpee because our movie never took off? Yeah, dude, it's a shame. I had I had the plot written and everything. Okay, so I'll go ahead and tell everybody about our old exploits real quick while they're here. Um, so before I decided to take on a website, Sam and I, um, we spent our free time, there's no more, I can teach you on this one. Uh, Sam and I used to, in our free time, just make a bunch of stupid home movies, pretty much, and they weren't just like home movies, like they, it was, it was a show called The Say What Show, and we had, uh... We had stupid... It was just stupid. It was the dumbest thing we ever did with our lives. And, um... Yeah, we had a movie written at some point. We, we actually did film a, film a little short thing. It was about, like, 35, 40 minutes long. Do you remember the Halloween zombie thing we filmed? Yeah, that was our best episode to date. To date? You mean, like, uh, our best episode out of, like, the five we made, like... Well, I mean, that's excluding the underground tapes, which are the very best, because it's three and a half hours of us working on Kyle. Dude, it was three and a half hours of us doing nothing but talking shit about our friends to their faces. Like, we were assholes, dude. Who would want to hang out with us? I don't know, but I miss my extravagantly long hair from those days. Me too, dude. I miss my long, flowing locks. Fill up that stupid totem pole and turn it to an ant. No, I'm trying to. What are you doing, Banjo? There we go. Fuck. Oh no. Oh wait. I'm stupid. Oh wait, I. F oh, why did I do that? I forgot to do the totem thing. I'm probably wasting my time trying to get up there, so I'll do that later. By the way, when you guys see the jigsaws come in and it's all black, yeah, that's an error with the- Oh my god! I lost all the Jinjos again! Ugh, this sucks. Come on. You know, if it resets the level, you can farm for extra lives up by the, uh, huts. Yeah, I could just go get that one trophy, like, over and over again. I don't know but how I'm useful that would be, though. But, like, why does it keep making me get my Jinjos again if I leave? Like, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I think you gotta get them all in one run, and then it'll stay firm. Because I did, I did get them all last, I thought. I thought I got them all last, didn't I? Well, do they give you a Jiggy whenever you collect them all? I don't remember. 
Because if they did, you got the jiggy, then you might as well just leave them out there. Well, if I... I don't remember. And it was only like 10 minutes ago, so that tells you a lot about where my mind is. Let me give the Google machine a search. Yeah, give our good friend Jeeves an ask. Oh, wait, here we go. Me safe here, nobody will get me. Yeah, I remember this. No. When all five Jinjos are rescued, the player will be rewarded with one of the world's ten Jinjos. So you do have to get all five and get a Jiggy. One of the world's ten Jiggy. Okay, that's where that Jiggy came from on top of Mumbo's thing. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go AFK real fast. I'll be back in a second. All right, well, I added you. Uh, Jacob, okay, if everybody saw that Skype conversation, I guess I'll leave you here right now. Uh, my friend Jacob's doing chores because we still live with our parents. Oh no, I didn't mean to fart. Yes! Okay, so I think I get a jiggy from this guy whenever he goes down. Thanks, dude. Sorry about that, everyone. I'm back. Hello there. Uh, can you, uh, add Jacob on Skype, just search his first and last name, and, uh, tell him that we're still doing this. We're gonna be doing this, by the way, just to let everybody know. What time is it, actually? It is 8.20. 8.20? Okay, we're probably going to be doing this until about 9 or 9.30. If that if that's cool with you, Sam. Oh, I'm in. I'm totally down on it. I'm not doing much right now. Okay, cool. We're actually going to figure out a schedule. Uh, me and Sam are going to get together uh, when he comes down. and Or actually before then. And we're going to put a schedule together of uh, what we're going to be doing for these live streams. Every, uh, every week. Um, and it's totally up to you guys, so if you want to see us play through an entire game over the series of a few streams, that's fine. Um, if you guys want to change it up and have a new game every week, we can do that too. It's, uh, completely what everybody else wants. I say, at some point, we go through both, or not both, but, uh, Star Fox 64. You can go completely to the right and completely to the left. I say we do that over two streams. We can do that. That's, dude, I kind of wanted to play Banjo-Tooie after we were done with uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Dude, I love me some Banjo-Kazooie. Or Tooie. Dude, Banjo- Okay, if you ask me, like, I don't know why people say this, but people are like, Banjo-Kazooie is way better than Banjo-Tooie, and I have to humbly disagree. Oh, I'm not humble about it. I'll tell them they're retarded. <laughs> Damn, dude, I'm just raking in these jigsaw puzzles, dude. I'm about to make the world's biggest puzzle. Alright, turn it to the end and get the last one. Let's dip. Alright. Well, how many skulls do I have to have? I don't think I have enough skulls for this guy. Uh, you need five. Okay, so there's two more lying around that I haven't gotten. Uh, how many people we got in chat? Um, we have five viewers, so I guess someone had to go offline. I guess somebody had to go to their grandma's birthday party, big lame people. Hope you enjoy bingo with your grandparents. There are... the five locations are under the wooden steps at Bumbo's Skull, behind the Stonehenge, on a platform near Congo, behind the Pink Jinjo, and inside the Termite Mound. So I'm guessing they want us to go into the Termite Place before we turn into one. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. Um, by the way, everybody who's in here, 
uh, tell your friends one more time. Tell them, share the love. Tell them that Banjo Kazooie is on and that it'll remind them of bad times. Or the best of times. The best of times, or yeah, the best of times. Alright, so I got the skull, now I gotta go get the other one. So, people in the chat, if you're still listening, give us some ideas for games you want to see done. Wait, what'd you say? I said, uh, to the people in the chat, they need to send us some ideas. Yeah, they do. They need to send us some ideas pronto. Someone's, uh, Larry wants us to do Quake 2. Quake 2 is doable. Quake 2 is very doable. I think we need to do the, uh, StarCraft port to the N64 and emulate it. <laughs> emulate a game that was originally for PC. Ryan wants us to do Quest 64. DUDE! That Ryan, game. I remember Quest 64. Holy crap. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I remember Quest 64. Stanky Leg Emperor is really upset I called him Larry. Oh, was that not actually Larry? <laughs> no, I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, don't ever make, uh, don't ever make Zarok sad again. No, why did I go back in here? I gotta go turn into the spider. <laughs> yes, turn me into the Banjo is playing a token. Stand on this and press B. I remember my mom getting upset over this scene, the scene where you jump into the uh, pot of the Indian chick to transform because she was like, I'm gonna use witchcraft! <laughs> oh boy. Dude, I remember whenever, um, my parents never did. My parents never freaked out about it, but I, uh, my grandma, dude, uh, I had, I had a grandma. I had a grandma. Nah, she's still alive. Um, but she, I remember I was reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And, um, I was just kind of, you know, flipping through pages, just having a good old time as a kid. You know, you don't expect anything bad to come out of reading some Harry Potter. So she swipes it from me and, like, reads it for about an hour and then come, tells me to come back into the room and start ripping the pages, like, one by one. Because it was ungodly and un un uh, Christian and unorthodox to be reading about witchcraft. I remember your grandma wouldn't let us play Yu-Gi-Oh in the house. Hey, yep. hey, hey, get hey, hey, Jacob for Zionist. You're here. I didn't think you'd be here. I am here. Are you streaming? Yes, I am streaming your live. Just like, you know. What are you playing? Banjo Kazooie. Why don't you go to the live stream and watch it like Sam's doing? But you gotta mute it though, because then you'll hear a delay. Okay, I will. I'm going in and out. I'm still folding clothes. Oh yeah. I'm folding clothes. Eh? Yeah. Does that mean doing meth? Is that like secret for doing meth? Yeah, that's code for meth. Are you in Awesome! So I got all ten jiggies in, in here. Anyway, what, Jacob? Are you emulating Banjo? No, no, dude, that's illegal. I am. I have my N64 plugged into my computer's graphics card, and I did some wacky trickery to get it to work. Alright, yeah, that's legit. You do that, that is... instead of breaking the law. Yeah, that is legit, right? I almost uh, destroyed my thousand-something dollar computer to uh, emulate N64 games. Whoo! I'll be right back. Yep. Yay! I got the I got the second hub world joystick. Hey, where'd you get those shorts? 
I want them. Oh my god. I love this game. Do you remember in Banjo Tooie, uh, you could turn into a washing machine? Yeah, that was great. You had different transformations for each world, and they were all pretty fun. Especially like the dinosaur world when you transformed into a T-Rex and could stomp through the level and nothing could hurt you. Dude, I I mean, don't you have? I mean, I think you. This game has all the transformations too. I just forget what they are. I remember the hands the most. Turn me back. I don't want to be an ant anymore. Being an ant sucks. Can't attack in my. Where does Kazooie go when I turn into an ant? She just turns into a smaller bird ant and fits in your backpack. Dude, that's a monstrosity. I think we have to put it out of its misery. It's like that movie Splice all over again. <laughs> Speaking of Conker's Bad Fur Day, I actually have a, uh, I actually have Conker's Bad Fur Day, and we can play that if you want. If I remember correctly, the next level is a pirate level. The pirate Jolly level. Rogers Lagoon or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, where'd you get those guts? I want them! Alright, alright. Should be fighting the big bad's best friend here in a minute. Or maybe that was Banjo Kazooie, or Banjo Tooie, where you fight him in that lobby. Yeah, that is Banjo Tooie, and you don't fight him. Are you talking about the cauldron? No, I'm talking about the uh, big green guy. You know? Yeah, the big green guy. That's whenever, cause I okay, it's all making a lot more sense. The hub world in this game is the lair. The hub world in Banjo Tooie is the actual world. Yeah, and you jump through paintings. And things like that. Oh, it's Mario. Yeah, we, we mentioned earlier how this game is a blatant ripoff of Mario 64. Good. You know, the only thing this game didn't do right was a cannon in the valley, so you can land on top of the witch head and get 120 lives. Oh, I remember those guys. Are you watching the stream, Jacob? I'm about to. Give me a moment. Oh my god, yeah, Jacob, or not Jacob, Sam, you're right, it is, uh, no, it's the Treasure Trove Cove, I think the second one is, dude, why aren't we playing the second one if we keep trying to remember things from this game, but it's the second game we keep remembering? Because this game is better than the second one? Oh, Go to hell. no, oh no, we were just talking about how, how, uh, you're wrong, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you're wrong. Banjo Tooie was a huge disappointment. How so? Tell me how Banjo Tooie was bad. Dude, Banjo Tooie was the worst. Be right back. Are you gonna look me in the face and say Banjo Tooie was worse than Banjo Tooie? Dude, Jacob's Nuts. just gonna come in here, drop some crap about how Banjo Tooie sucks, and then leave again. That makes me sad. <laughs> how come I can't mute the stream? Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, there you are. Oh, and hey, you know what the cool thing is? Is that when the stream is over, this entire thing is uploaded uh, to the live stream account. So, if we wanted to go through this and be like, hey, there's certain things we shouldn't say ever again. Yeah, dude. Uh, I told you this was so much better than Justin TV. It's even better quality. Yeah, I think Justin TV does it too, but I mean, like, Livestream has this Procaster program, and this is just infinitely easier and better than doing anything else. Actually, you're, uh, this looks like it was better quality than it was last night. Did you manage to fix it? Uh, no, what I managed to do is, uh, well, with this Procaster program, uh, it feeds directly off of DirectX. 
Like if a uh, like if a program is running DirectX or whatever, it will hook onto uh, the 3D graphics engine of the game, so it actually just kind of like sends a video feed of the game you're playing without having to take like. Because basically, what it does when you stream is it's just like video feed, like you know how videos work, like just frames captured. So it it costs a lot more to uh, costs a lot more on your computer. It's a lot more taxing to do it that way than just the regular old, mm -hmm. um, than to do this. Fuck, I lost my train of thought. I'm trying to find where I'm going. Um, you sure you have to go back to the picture and finish throwing the jigsaw pieces in? Yeah, but, uh, actually what makes this run better is I'm not doing the DX mode right now because for some reason it doesn't recognize Project 64, um, as DX. So... I'm having to do screen capture, but I fit the I fit the window of the emulator into the screen capture. Yeah, I can still see a little bit of a border, I think. That's okay though, it's not that bad. Hey man, are you gonna get those eggs? Get Why would I need them? I don't need eggs. no eggs. No man, you gotta get those eggs. They're what just you? hub world eggs. What are you what are you gonna have for breakfast if you don't get those eggs? Um, absolutely nothing, I guess. I'm just gonna starve. Oh. So, Banjo's a bear. The fuck is Kazooie supposed to be? A bird. A bird. Yeah. But, but what kind of bird? Well, what kind of bear is Banjo? He's okay. a creepy, pants-wearing, anthropomorphic bear. What kind of bird can hoist a bear on its back and run uphill? Look at this thing! He does kind of treat Kazooie like shit. Hey, let me let you live in my house, but you constantly have to live in my backpack on the coat rack. Yeah, um, and the next time something's too steep for me to bother trying to climb, I'm gonna have you carry me. Yeah, I'm gonna have you carry my big fat bear ass across the yep, land. Yep, there it is. You're doing yeah. it. Alright, so Sam, will you help me? Because I'm kind of lost. Okay, go back down to the tunnel you just came through. Oh, I'm gonna get my laundry. All the ways back. And Banjo Tui, you find out that Kazooie stems from dragon heritage and she turns into a full dragon later. So that's why she's strong enough to carry Banjo's fat ass. Um, go to the other side of that river. Dude, you aren't trolling either. I remember when Kazooie turns into a dragon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's how come she can pick up Banjo and shit. She can also turn into a shotgun. Oh man, you gotta get some more stars from that painting. Yeah, let me jump on the painting real quick. There it is. Okay, I was jumping the jumping the gun there. Uh, oh man, this isn't Mario 64. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> so, uh, who all do we got in chat, Sam? Uh, we got Sprite Girl, Stanky Like Emperor, Ryan, Bitch <laughs> Tits, and Buddy. Really? Buddy's watching. Hi, Buddy! I hey, miss buddy. you. How's you college? How's. <laughs> Good luck in the paddy wagon, buddy. I'm sure you'll make a lot of new friends in there. Hmm. Don't drop the soap, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was totally ripped off. It's okay, this is live. Anything goes. Fuck it. Fuck it, we're doing it live? Yeah. Alright, well, everybody who's watching should tell all of their friends, their parents, uh, their babysitter, their dog, their dog's friends, uh... Who else should they tell, Sam? Their enemies. Their local Catholic priest. Your local, your local, uh, your local brothel. Put some, uh, posters up in the bedrooms. I don't think we have a local brothel. We don't. I thought it was called Sexy High School. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Zing! There's a lot of whores at that school. It's a good thing we graduated like five years ago. You guys need to stop talking about high school like it's something relevant. Oh fucking mole, this guy. Yeah, this guy. Totally yeah, he's the guy who's trying to teach me how to play video games. It's totally relevant. It's the best thing about high school girls. They stay the same age. I keep getting older, they keep staying the same age or whatever. I like that movie. I like Days of Confused. Oh no! Yeah, I like drugs. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, so Jacob. Yes. Alright, I was telling everybody the plot to Banjo-Kazooie before the thing started, and I wanted to know if you had anything to add. Um... Well, hold on, let me tell you the plot, okay? Alright. Alright, so Gruntilda, the, uh, the witch, yeah, uh, she recently became the head of a big oil corporation, like Exxon. Your shell, okay, folly so far. And, uh, so she comes in to the picture, into Banjo's little area, and she's like, okay, I want to turn this entire place into one big giant oil rig for me to suck all the benefits and for me to rip, reap all the glory, right? But then she sees in her cauldron as she's plotting the, uh, an image of, uh, Banjo's sister. And, uh, she's like, okay, well, while I'm at it, I can't just, you know, run this oil corporation. I should be the president of the United States. And then her, uh, her little cohort, her little, uh, sidekick guy is like, but Gruntilda, you are way too ugly to be president. And she's like, well, then I must harness Banjo's sister's good looks and become the next president of these United States. Oh. See, I thought that Grundy had stole Banjo's chocolate. And that this game's purpose was that you went around collecting your lost chocolate bars. That's Conker's bad fur day. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. Okay, let me try one more time. Okay, so... I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, see, like, th the plot is unprecedented. You can't, you can't add on to it. You can't take anything away. This game didn't really have that much of a plot other than Grundy is mean, go stop her. Well, no, the plot is she did take Banjo's sister because she wanted to be pretty, but I say it's because she wanted to be the president, not just to be pretty. What kind of, like, what kind of, like, demeaning values does this game have towards women? Also, like, where all they want to do is be pretty. Also, squirrels can't even eat chocolate, they'll die. Yeah, dude. But that's Conker's Bad Fur Day. I wonder if bears can eat chocolate. This bear can. Dude, more eggs! Oh, and a puzzle piece. I guess that's more important. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh my god! Oh, wait, here we go. Nope, you suck. You're gonna have to jump on the fence. Oh wait, there you go. Yay! <laughs> Fucking Kazooie just jacked your jigsaw piece. I know, what a bitch, right? I think the plot for Banjo Tooie is much better. What's the plot for Banjo Tooie? She caps your best friend and you're out for revenge. You're a loose bear on the edge. Oh man, Banjo Tooie. Blood revenge. <laughs> Banjo's back, and this time he's pissed. No, should it be Banjo Tooie out for blood? There you go. That's a good one. I like that title. That's a really good title. So who do we got in chat, Sam? Same old, same old. Yeah. Um. We got another viewer. They haven't We're... talked in the chat, so I can't see who they are. Hey, new oh. viewer. Say something. Hey, new viewer, um, welcome to hell, pretty much. Oh, is that what's down there? In that hole? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, this is just another part of the level. Why did it have to load? Oh, god, no. 
Uh, I forgot about Shark Week. Taewin doesn't want to talk, apparently, and Brian's happy to see another oh, person. You suck. Oh, Taylin! Hi, Taylin! How are you doing? It's been a while. I'm glad you came to watch me make a fool of myself and play Banjo-Kazooie. Ryan wants you to run in the water from the shark, even though you swim in water. Who wants me to? Ryan, Ryan Johnson? said to run, yeah. Ryan? Oh, okay. well that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ryan, uh, can you run on top of water? I don't think you can. No, dude, he totally can. He's a Japanese. He's a ninja. No! No! <laughs> I, was, I was talking about Banjo, you asshole! Oh, no, bears can't run on water, you stupid! <laughs> um, no, you're gonna that's... need to get your bird slave to carry you up those steps. No, you know Kazooie descends from the yellow dragons, and they're all about water. Kazooie's a dragon? Thought he was a Yeah, you didn't... Jacob, did you not play Banjo 2 or are you just gonna say it sucks? What? No, I played both games, and just never bothered paying any attention to the continuity, because I didn't think there was any. Well, well no, you find you... out that Kazooie descends from dragons, and she turns into one. Yeah. Mm. Kazooie turns into a dragon in the second game. Oh, you just Mario ass pounded that guy. I know. Blatant fucking ripoff, right? Go jump in another painting. So if you're listening this listening this. If you listen this, uh share with friends online, face twit, tumb. I think Space? we need to get The Rock to Twitter for us. Yeah, can we get The Rock to uh, tweet this? And then the Stone Cold Steve Austin can say, No, Rock! No, you need to watch these videos that I tweeted! I think we no. need to get Cold Stone Ative Sustin to tweet for us. Now trending worldwide. Hashtag fucking bears and shit. I like how that guy in the water there is the relic mine. Will he explode? The relic mine never exploded. That guy is the relic mine's younger cousin. No, but uh, instead of talking in stupid broken English like I was earlier, if you uh, hey look, there's the mine. mine. And you have any friends, you should tell them about me, because I am very single, and I am ready to mingle. Me too. Nah, you should share this link with your friends. Um, Dude, you just got that shizno, that dirty dirty shizno. That shizno? <laughs> Yo. Speaking of being single and ready to mingle, here's a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Yeah, back to uh, this these commercial messages. Are you a hot young Christian ready to meet another hot young Christian? Well, go to ChristianWire.com. Hey, Christian. You're a Christian. And I am, too, looking for another hot Christian. <laughs> gonna start some kind of crazy cult. I joined ChristianWire.com, and I got married in two weeks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We had a kid in six. That sounds like double bad decision making. What, getting married and too quickly? Yeah. Well, I don't know, it could be any multiple levels of bad idea, depending on how you feel about the Christian church. Oh wait, I remember what this guy wanted. He wanted his lost gold. Oh, he lost his booty. He did. I have to find it for him. Wait, he lost it in his own pirate ship? I hardly think he lost it then. Well, look, he was crying. I mean, it was obviously very important to him. Why didn't he just go down here? It's his fucking boat. He's also... A hippo? 
An he's aquatic also mammal. a seal or a walrus. I think he was a little more able to swim than a bear. Nah, it's cool. You're using Kazooie to paddle you around. Yeah, do you notice how slow I swim when my legs are kicking around? That's because you're not even bothering to use your arms. You're just letting Kazooie do all the work. Here's your fucking gold, asshole. No, he's a hippo. That's even... You guys live in water. That's what I said. Quit walking around. He doesn't even give a fuck that you just gave him his gold. Look, he's still crying. You gave, you gave him half well, the you gold. Gotta... There's another one down there. Yeah, I know, I know. There, it's like the entrance is... <laughs> oh, in the water. You smashed your face. <laughs> I don't care either. Dude, bears don't give a fuck. <clears throat> Alright, so what time is it, guys? It's uh, 8.40. 8.40? Alright, we should keep this going until... Well, a little bit after 9. Not too much after 9, but we'll keep it going for a little bit. Until Michael calls you? Until anybody calls me. Um, okay, so, looks like I'm gonna have to go back down underground, or water, whatever. Somebody should be keeping a tally to mark how many times we say things that are too inappropriate, even for the internet. I think it'll help us cut down on that sort of thing. I don't think we've said really anything too bad. Like, we haven't said... I just told Sam my main concern is racial slurs. That's what yeah. I only want to stick away from. I, I see where you're coming from there. That that could be bad. That could be bad. Like, you know... Like, just because we have a f one friend who is black does not mean that we are entitled to that word. I think it does, but, see, everyone else probably won't, so... Yeah. Taywin is a fit, apparently. I know he is. <laughs> It's okay. It's only because he's black. Yeah, he wouldn't be offended if he were white like us. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he should get that, uh, that, that, that Michael Jackson disease going on. Are <laughs> you telling him to get Revitiligo? <laughs> oh, I don't want to wish that on anybody, actually. <laughs> That's fucking horrible. Ow! Dude, I'm gonna kill this bear by the end of the <laughs> you night. You almost did. That Dude, dirty, this dirty bear is no trick to you. This bear is gonna be taking a dirt nap. Taywin's drowning his sorrows in Kool-Aid and KFC. Well, what about watermelon? I don't know. I'm just reading what he said. Are there? There we are, getting racist. <laughs> it's cool. Oh no, I forgot about the shark. No. Damn shark! Look, he wants so badly to be a land shark. Oh, dude, I'm totally outrunning the shark, bro. He can't catch up. Oh no, he caught up. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Bigger boat. We are gonna need a bigger boat. It's cool. I just cut down some trees. Let me craft one real quick. Are you playing Dude, speaking of which, we we could totally. I, I have to figure out how, but I wouldn't mind streaming Minecraft. I do have some things in Minecraft I need to show you. Because I mean, I'm pretty sure some people in chat have Minecraft, and I don't know, maybe they'd want to play with us or something. Apparently, Minecraft isn't in season, according to Taylor. Yeah, Minecraft was so. Or no, so Minecraft is always pretty ripe. I don't know, Minecraft was so beta ago. Minecraft was just officially released. I know. Wait, Waiter Melon is it in season since Stadium. Waiter Melon? That's what he said, he said Waiter Melon. I want to try some of that Waiter Melon. Waiter Melon? I need, apparently, seven more jigsaw pieces here. 
Hey, when I get these seven, then we'll cut the stream. Look how you barrel so rolled underneath that clam. Yeah, dude. He didn't want anything to do with me. But bro, 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 when we do Star Fox 64, I'm gonna play through the entire oh. thing, and that will be the stream. You gotta hot feed it. I wanna play Star Rats. Okay, no problem. I was actually thinking if. Oh no! Good oh job! God. And now you're gonna get eaten by a shark! <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, look, there's a dick. thing over there. The thing by the guy. You see it? The, thing? the extra life token. Yeah, you're gonna need that if you're fighting sharks. Why isn't the. Nope! There it is! Nope! Just gotta get out of here! Nope! Now where's that shard? I didn't I didn't hear I didn't see him but I heard his music and that was that was good enough for me. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Yep, freaking out. Saw it. But was that one feather worth all that trouble? You maxed that out 50. Was, now you got 50. Huh? I said it totally was, now you have 50 feathers. Okay, cool. No! You poor camera! I like how delay is still a big issue here. Well, simply because... Oh, that shark! Land shark! Yeah, that shark was about to come up on land and kill my ass. Oh, you know what? I just suck. I suck at video games. I should never live stream anything ever again, guys. It's awful. Seriously, I don't know what's so hard about walking up a, a damn thing. Why don't you just go find a fly pad and fly up it? Because that is a waste of time. <laughs> Something that might make this easier. Pure waste of time. Yeah, pu purely a waste of my efforts. Are you gonna have to shimmy up against the wall like Mario? Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Okay, so the arrow points this way. You, uh, you should try and keep your, uh, banjo-related dialogue. Keep it like two seconds after what's happening on screen, and I think you'll be all synced up. That's so hard, though. I'm pretty sure people understand if you have a delay. Oh my god, what is. Dude, I did totally just stumble across that by accident. I like how you also, like, wall ran down there, like the Matrix. Dude, I'm Neo. I'm the one. You're Banjo. You are the one. Yeah. The one with the Banjo. Woohoo! What? I wonder if I can get that triple jump. You should try and do the long jump. I already with tried. Joke. All that happens is this. Painting. You gotta grab an enemy and then double jump to throw the enemy down to get that third jump. Hey, you should pick up that mine and throw him down. And kill myself? There's <laughs> 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 another X. Go to the X. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go shit on it. I hate that noise Kazooie makes. Bahri! Ah! Bahri! You missed all of those things. Yeah, I know, that's why I just ground pounded again. There's another X! Woohoo! Hey, look under Banjo's shorts. He's got nothing. That's not good. Actually, you're right, it's just transparent. Look at that, you can see right through. Yeah, he's literally got nothing. I wasn't telling you to look at bear balls. <laughs> I thought you were telling me to look at the lack of bear balls, not the lack of 
everything. <laughs> the lack of textures drawn on the model. Alright, so is this X pointing to another X or another jigsaw piece? Oh, there is a jigsaw piece, okay. I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we do have a few seconds lag. Just eating all your jigsaw puzzle pieces. I know, what a dick. They're not chocolate. They're not like chocolate foiled. Pieces. Yeah, they're not like the chocolate in Conker's Bad Fur Day. Yeah, fucking. I hope they die. Look at how miserable they look in the top left corner. <laughs> they look completely baked. <laughs> they look sad about it, though. You think if they, well, if they had like smiles on their face, that might work. Hey, there's honey over there. You could get some help. Well, Jacob, you jinxed me anyway. Yeah, I'm always jinxing you hardcore. You're a big old jinxster. Yep, I'm a big racist Pokemon. How dare you. <laughs> hey, is, uh, so is everybody still in chat, man? Or um, Taewin has bailed, and so has the stanky leg emperor. Oh, oh Taewin hauled ass because we were getting racist up in this bitch. Up in this bitch. It's alright, next week I suspect we'll have 20 people. And then after that, 50 people. And then after that, 106. 106. Damn it. What were you trying to accomplish there? I think, yeah, uh, I think that something like, I don't know, 30,000 people watch uh, Sunday Night Fights. You've got a yeah, long way to go till you're that popular. Thanks, Jacob. Thanks for shooting me down like fish in a barrel. <laughs> yeah, shooting you down like fish in a barrel. Yep, you're that's no exactly what I said. <laughs> yeah, he jumped right over that feather. Alright, how many do I got here? So I have five here now? Okay. Damn, dude, I don't know where the hell I'm going. If it makes you feel any better, I'm pretty sure that uh, Sunday Night Fights is sponsored by Game Replays and Relic. Yeah, I know. I wasn't sad anyway, I don't need no 30,000 people. Well, that'd be cool as fuck, but I know that would probably not happen. We don't even need- Haha, <laughs> you'll never find me now. What? We don't even- What a jerk! 10 people. Fucking, we'd be doing this... ...whether there were people watching or not. Yeah, dude, I'm, I mean, that's what I plan on doing. I'm gonna stick to a schedule, and if people wanna watch on those days, and they can, or they can't, I don't give a shit. That's what I did when I was live-streaming, uh, Half-Life 2. Um, after you break all the red eggs, After you break all these little red X's, the boss appears, and you have to fight. The boss, huh? Well, where's the boss? Cause I hit the I hit the X, and now it's just oh, I see. That X? Is that what a boss yeah. is? That X. That X. Ooh, that Ash. <laughs> Yikes! Some boss. Whoopee! Hey. I'm just reading the guide, bro. <laughs> the guide, bro, said that was a boss fight? <laughs> that was a very boss fight. <clears throat> Ooh. Bro, he automatically dodges your first attack, no matter how accurate you are. And then he starts blinking red right after you, not, you don't hit him, because it only took one hit. 
and don't forget that uh, he does a total of zero damage whenever he hits you. Yeah, there was that too. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a skull underneath that thing. I'm glad we were on the same page for a minute there. Yeah, except I'm looking at everything a second later than you, so technically I'm just ahead of you. No, doesn't that mean that I'm ahead of you? No. No, because if you were on the same bow. page and I'm handicapped, then I'm ahead of you. Oh, that makes sense. Just barely. Alright, I have a feeling that I'm close to getting all of the things here. But not really, so I'm just gonna fly around and look for places that I might have- Oh, wait. Is that like a cave? I don't know, I don't know. go find out! <laughs> oh, god. So yeah, I think this place is gonna be home to something. Yeah, it is. Look, there's a little there's entrance. Nine. There's a safe. And a life. Get a life. Shark Food Island? Oh boy. Damn it! Like, swim! <laughs> I like how he takes a bite out of you and then drifts away for a little bit. Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, that was fun. Oh man, he ate you. That was Ryan fun. still wants you to run on water. Can you? I'm, I'm pretty sure you can. I guess you I'm can try. Well, that's shallow yeah. water. It's gonna work I no know. matter what. <laughs> I said I was gonna clear this place out before we moved on. And I plan on doing that. Did you talk to Michael? Um, I'll text you about that in a minute. Okay, good. Whoa! That's a big, stupid looking crab! Yep! Nippers Beach. <laughs> Crustacean brain! Come on, come, come get me. How come he's not doing anything? He's looking at you. Arr. No, look, he starts snipping and then um, nothing. He starts snipping and nipping and <sighs> now he's dead. Yep. What the hell? Why is this thing massive? Ah, uh, yeah, he's got a pretty spacious shell. Where in the hell did he go? Yeah, he's gotta be in there somewhere, right? Oh, what? Babies? How? Wasn't he male? That's what I thought. I guess Nippers can be a woman's name. Nippers is a hermaphrodite. <laughs> <laughs> so were you just like running through her colon there? I was running through something fucking terrible. Alright, so I have eight here. Now I have two left. I gotta get all the Jinjos and then... All those shiznos. All the shiznos, yeah. Um, collect the music notes to get one of them. And do you have all the Jinjos? I don't think, no, dude, I forgot. The music notes, the music notes just let you into places. I don't think you have to get a hundred for selfies. That crab interrupted you, shit. Hold on. I'm thinking maybe if I jump in these chests... Oh wait, no! The ones with angry eyes and teeth? Yeah. Yeah, let's jump in there. <laughs> no, they're just so angry to scare away all your natural predators. Oh, I'm totally, predators totally looking for... 
looking for what to do next. Well, I gotta get all the Jinjos, but I gotta find them first. So, here we go. There's one. Wait. Nope, that's just feathers. According to this site, Jinjos are actually teddy bears, not birds. But that's bullshit because in the second game they fly. They're teddy bears? That's what teddy the bear. wiki that's what the banjo wiki says. Okay. Do me a favor and look at the bottom of this screen. Do those things look like teddy bears? Don't be snapping at me. Dude, you they don't the even wiki? look like birds. No, I'm not snapping at you, I'm just saying I'm just saying teddy bears. Come on now. There's one! There's one in a tree you passed. Good job. I didn't pass it yet. These bite petal teddy bear like critters with beaks coming of variety colors. Teddy bear white. Those things are not teddy bear like at all. Alright, we will find the others here in a second. There we go. Okay, so for the next show, I say we uh, live stream us playing Banjo Tooie multiplayer. Dude, I like how you just did a trick shot off that chest. <laughs> Fucking banjo parkour. No! <laughs> he chewed you up and spit you out. That sucked. That was bad. Alright, so here's a Jinjo. Down there. Yep. But I'm swimming towards Shark Man. <laughs> shark Man and Lava Woman? Yeah, he's no longer Shark Boy. Yeah, you can tell that by watching the Twilight movies. Shark Man. What is his deal in playing anthropomorphic animals? I don't know. Shark I think he's a furry. Could he's be. A furry. He's a big furry. Oh, here's probably where the other one is. So if he's furry, that makes Bella necrophiliac? No, that's dead people. Yeah, uh, vampires a... are dead people. No, uh... you meant for people who like to fuck animals, right? No, those are that's not necrophilia. That's it's zoophilia. Yeah, but that's what I thought you were trying to say. Alright, there's a cool crossword in the ground here, let's see. Uh, I found the word dut and the word noi. Uh. Dude, look, jersey. It's a jersey thing. Don't ever. Uh, my soul. <laughs> it's Jersey with a G and an I. I. <laughs> but okay, okay. So how am I supposed to do this, Sam? Are you are you guiding me here? Um, I'm looking it up real quick. At the bottom of a pool of water, on top of a set of ladders guarded by a shrapnel. You see B A N. Inside the sand castle, it must be accessed by typing Banjo Kazooie on the floor. Defeat Black Snippet, who guards it. See, you almost had it. Keep going. B. There it is. Get ready for a boss fight as soon as you're out of there. E There's A. B A. B A. N. N. Don't you have to like pound them? J. Yeah, I think so. But I don't think pounding works. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta jump. Maybe it will if you start with B. <laughs> nope. No, you gotta shoot eggs at him, bro. I can't shoot eggs if I'm in the water. Dive down and touch him. Oh. Wait, hey, hey, hey. That's not working either. What? Hold on. Because you think there'd be some kind of like signal, signification, or you know, like not signification. Well, I don't even think that's a word. 
Come on, Sam. I'm I'm scouring the webs here. Come on, Sam. Everybody's um, gonna stop watching. And this is gonna be your fault. You got to drain that pool and then go inside. Well, I figured. Shit. So why don't you leave that? I knew that. I knew that, you big asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta defeat that mine to drain the pool. Shoot him with an egg. It's the only way. Wait, is there a Mumbo's cast or Mumbo's place here? There is, but you were too busy jerking off to find him. <laughs> bear masturbation. Bear baiting? Yeah, bear baiting. Master Barry. You must fire two eggs inside a bucket called Leaky, which is close to the sand castle, and he will remove the water from you. So go find a bucket and shoot them. So yeah. Yeah, I thought I had to turn into like uh, Red October and shoot that mine down. <laughs> <coughs> Bro, or somebody just go start Dawn of War. Company of heroes, they don't have to leave for a minute to go do the opening scene. The fucking clam is kicking your ass. I know, what a dick. You need to learn the sleep maneuver to heal. You need to learn where the sandcastle is. Bro, go shoot that bucket. I hope it liked my ass egg. <laughs> I'm Mr. Bucket. <laughs> Make some scrambled fucking colon eggs. Bum ba da bum ba ba bum. What do you know? I'm a wiener. Yup, you're a wiener. I'm a wiener. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So there's the B. There's the A, there's the N, there's the J, uh, here's the O, uh, where's that K? Uh, it's the bottom corner. K Zooey, alright, K, um, K song, A, it's where we beat them jacks. Alright, where's that C? Dirty jacks. Uh, C e for Kazooie. Oh wait, no. I was actually looking for a Z, no! No, it's up or there! You passed it! I know, I know, I know, I know. How do you keep missing it? It's over there! It's right there, next to the oh, wall. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I keep looking at the other areas. Uh, Kazoo with the O. Sprite Girl wants you to know to go left. And she go did left. that in all caps. That means she's serious business, bro. <laughs> We'll tell her thank you, or I'll tell her thank you. All right, now I gotta defeat Shadow the Crustacean. Hi, Shadow. <laughs> Fucking asshole. She says you're welcome in all caps to show she's serious business. I think she did that to reflect my stupid enthusiasm. <laughs> All right, now all we got is the Jinjos, and then we can wrap this story abroad. So what do you guys I don't know if that made think is sense. on Banjo's necklace? Um, I think it's a... I think it's a Holy MacGuffin. Hold on, I really want to know. Hold on. I think it's a... Like, you know how... I think it's a tooth. Yeah, like, you know how shark tooths were, like, the coolest thing to have on your necklace as a kid, like... Uh, maybe if you're, like, some kind of surfer guy, kind of guy. Maybe if it's the 90s. Yeah. yeah, I punched... I punched this tooth straight up out of a shark while I was on my surfboard. Radical. Radical. Radical! Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> Ryan says we remind him of Rocket Power. <laughs> Rocket woogity 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 Hey Otto! Twister! Super McDougal 9000! Whoa, Shoobies! Oh no, the squid beefed it! 
<laughs> squid Dude, you guys it again. remember when the squid totally beefed it? I do remember that. <laughs> Fucking asshole. God damn, no one likes the squid. Dude, I realize that our show is rated PG-13. There's no R rating. Can you believe that? It goes, it goes G to PG to PG-13 straight to NC-17. Well, our show would definitely be rated NC-17, I guess. Yeah, but you know what? I don't want to restrict people who are younger than 18 from watching this because... But we'd have to because you swear like a sailor. <laughs> it's cool. Well, Your parents cuss. Yeah, their moms and dads said bad things to them and made them cry. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't think everybody, that happened to everybody has right? experiences we did. Yeah, that happened to everybody, right? Everybody's <laughs> parents got mad and started calling me. Started yelling at them, calling them a douchebag. <laughs> Telling them they're not worth it. Walking under the staircase. Yeah, walking me in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I almost fake cried there for a minute. That was bad. Woo! Bad or theatrical? Hey, look, it's a Shizno. Didn't you already get that guy? Yeah, I did, but then I died like 30 times. Oh. That is another no. area. Where... Oh, you failed! You got. <laughs> no, I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no coming back. There's no coming back from this, guys. I'm dead, and there's nothing I can do about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream because it's over now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! No! No! Banjo with uses goddamn arms, y'all might be able to swim away. <sighs> Banjo is the biggest, most autistic bird. Bear. Bird. Beer. I already got your jigsaw. I don't want it. Wait, do you still have it? Yeah, I still have it. So, if you die, it doesn't count you for getting the shiznos, but... Wait, I mean, I'm pretty sure I got all of the... Yeah, yeah, I just have one more. I got the gingos. Okay, cool. here's the full-on list. On top of the White House, Rescue Glover's Gold, Defeat Nipper, Defeat Little Lockup, Inside the Sandcastle, and Arches Lockup, Across the Ledges, Shock Spring Pads, Under the Shrapnel, and Finding All Five Gingos. Alright, hold on, hold on. Let's cross these off the list, since I have none right now. Okay, I'm going inside the ship next to where his gold is, so let's knock this one off the list. Wait, you don't have this one anymore? Not this Jinjo. Is there a Jinjo in here? No, there's a, there's a treasure piece. I was naming all the treasure pieces. I'll get the Jinjo you know, locations. We don't need oh, well, I already found the... Yeah, name all the Jinjos. I thought you were talking about, about the treasure pieces. Why would I need the treasure pieces? Bro, I was naming all the Jigsaw pieces. Okay, here we go. Oh! Here we go. Yeah, I got all of them except the Jinjo one, though. Blue. In the sea under the entrance platform. You okay, have okay, the blue hold one? On, hold on. I'll go... I'll go back and the Wait, didn't I already... Yeah, I already got the... And I have the yellow one, so all I need is green, orange, and green. Green on top of the pole above Captain Blubber's ship. Okay, okay. Um... Captain Blubber is a good name for a Captain Hippo. Hey, gay. Um, yeah. Orange is on a small pathway near a pond, an elevated area. Three so keep falling uh, down. Yeah, the orange Wait. one is one where you fell and died. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. And then purple is on a pillar in the pillar area. Pillar area. I think I got purple too. Whenever I got, like, whenever I was playing not too long ago, like a few minutes ago. Died. No! <laughs> You're really bad at this. I'm really bad at every video game I've ever played. <laughs> Alright, pink. Pink, pink, pink. On a pillar in the pillar area.
No! No! I have one more life, and I am not redoing this. You need to go find help. No! <laughs> okay. You say so. No, I mean, I, I meant nope as in that was like my reaction to almost screwing up everything. Oh, no. No! No, 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 I wish the shark would just go ahead and quietly, just nicely fuck off. PG-13! Oh, oh, he yeah. knocked you into it. Good job. Thank you, shark. Hey, hey, you should, uh, you should go over there and jump the shark on your first episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me, let me jump the shark before it's time. What would be jumping the shark for a live stream? If you literally went and jumped over that shark. No, I mean like, in general. How do you jump the shark in a let's play? I don't understand. Um, I don't know, same way you jump over anything, I guess. Alright, on top of the lighthouse. No. Yeah. There's nothing in the show that your, oh, wait, no. you know, Let's Play is mad successful or not, so... I think everybody's Let's Plays suck at the very beginning, but they get better over time. I don't, I don't think, think this sucks. I think this it is just a lot depends than... on how many people you have watching. Yeah, our... Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh, you yeah. missed! I thought that would have worked, but nope. That's a reason. <laughs> you just saved your life getting back up yeah. there. Alright, cool. I got the orange one now. And. I like how the game developers totally realize that it's really hard to walk in a straight line in this game, so they put him at the edge of that little, tiny little overhang there so that it'd be really difficult to get in. Not because it's a difficult <laughs> spot, but just because the controls for this game are terrible. Yeah, it's just in 64 controls, what can you do? Nope, I am not going through this old song and dance. Well, better put your dancing shoes on, aww. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright, uh, so I got another... The gin the pink Jinjo is on on the... Yeah, I see him. Okay. That clam wanted to dance. Let's dance, clam! <laughs> Just dive underneath you. Jet Force Gemini should be one of our Let's Plays. Yes! Did somebody suggest that, or did you just think that? No, I, he said, let's dance, clam, and for some reason that game popped in my head. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, I love Jet Force Gemini, if you want to talk about a fucking awesome game. <laughs> the, probably one of the best things about that game is the fact you can collect the head <laughs> of the enemies you kill as trophies. I like how you slid down that thing and collected almost every music note. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm fairly proud of myself. It's the first time I've played this game without sucking. I played this game when I was like 10 years old. And I yeah, me too. don't really remember being bad at it, but I could have been. God, Banjo's such an asshole. Stupid fear. Goddamn bear. You fucking bear. I think the next PG let's play you do needs to be a party game so we can all play something. I'm trying to, because I know there's a way, and I mean, I know there's a way you can do in 
64 emulators with multiplayer. I'll just have to look into it, and then we can all. Then we can all play Mario Party. Yep. We could just do. Yeah, I think I got the. I got it. We could do a got Mario it. Party Let's Play. Um. What am I trying to say? Yeah, it'll be the three of us, and we'll leave Luigi as an empty player so that he can win without doing anything. Christian. Hey, what the hell happened? You already I got, got all, the all the gingos. That was the last one. No, I mean, like, now that I saw you, because remember you got it and it landed on top of that thing way earlier? Oh, uh, no, that was from if you hit the switches, the grunty thing. Okay, well. Uh, if you hit the grunty switches, those puzzles pop out. Well, you're a communist. Yep. Well, so, okay, so name off the name off the pieces. Maybe we can trace our steps. Okay, so top of the lighthouse. Did that. Rescue Blubber's gold. Did that. Defeat Nipper. Did that. Defeat Little Laka. Who? Fly around the world using Kazooie's beak bus on the giant red X's as they appear at the end of the trail. Little Laka appears. Who has the jiggy? Oh yeah, yeah, I did that. Um, inside the sandcastle. Yes. In Arch's lockup. Oh no. I go to Arch's oh, house. Arch. And the large rock arch on the opposite side of the staircase to above the rock formation is a lockup and in a clove. It contains a jiggy. A lockup is those chests you've been fighting with the teeth. Oh, okay, then this is my last one. Alright, so it's in the opposite. Okay, so it's Yeah, that. I see, I see, I see. There's He's in here. Gotta cap that guy. The other one in it. Yeah. Stay on target. This beat until does. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, again. Watch out. I got all of them, guys. Yay. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Zoom into the fucking chest here for a minute. Alright, I got all of the cool jiggies, so, okay, I have collected only oh, nine. Uh, no, oh, cause you spin jiggies to unlock worlds, that makes sense. And I'm dead. And I'm, I'm dead. No. You're not dead. Now you're dead. Yeah, dead. yeah, yeah now I'm dead. But it's cool though, cause you got all the jiggies. Alright, cool, so we're, we're game, we're game, right? Yeah, bro. Alright, cool, hold on. Let me exit this world, save the uh, state, and then we'll say our goodbyes and thanks to everybody. Hold on. Alright, cool. System. S current save state, slot one. No, bro, System. slot three, so you can play the game. We'll play the game. Um. Oh, you asshole, you're holding out Ocarina of Time on us? You no, dude, I have no idea what that's doing in here. I think it came off... I think somebody put a saved game No, in bro, I would never download a Zelda game, bro. bro. We were playing <laughs> Banjo-Kazooie, and you had Legend of Zelda the whole time. Such a dick. Nah, dude, hey, I didn't do that. I just now realized that that's in there. Okay, cool. Well, everybody, I guess this is going to be the uh, part where we go ahead and say goodbye to everybody and thank you for watching the live stream. I get to play now, right? No, we get to hang up and then uh, we're going to go do other things, I guess. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> um. Okay, let's play Skyrim. Yeah, let's let's do that. All right, guys. Well, thank you all for coming out tonight. It's been a glorious hour and 54 minutes that you have spent with me, Sam, and about 30 minutes to 45 minutes with Jacob. So, uh, Sam, have you got anything to say before we cancel this here stream? Um, I'm really glad you guys came out. Be sure to go to our sponsor, ChristianMingle.com, and uh, check us out next week <laughs> for our next Let's Play. <laughs> God damn it. I took a drink and you said that. <laughs> oh god. Oh my body hurts now. Wow. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. It was a blast. Um, and I guess next time we will be continuing Banjo Kazooie Man, or we'll be doing something else depending on what your feedback was. So thanks again tonight. Uh, thanks to Ryan, Buddy, Talon, uh, Sprite Girl. Uh, I think Zarok was in here at a time. And whoever else came in, uh, just check out our site, check out the Facebook page, um, and we should have some more really cool things to say to you, yeah. to say to you guys and show you guys. So say goodbye, Jacob and Sam. Goodbye, Bye. Jacob and Sam. Maybe next time I'll, I'll do all of my work before we get this started. And Hell yeah, yeah. Do Okay, so next week we will be letting you know what's going down, so you guys take care. Next week, right. Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah.